I want this video to serve as a basic guide for anyone out there that's thinking about starting Shopify dropshipping and you're not sure of exactly what steps you need to take. I'm going to go through majority of the things that you need to know click by click, step by step so that once you finish watching this video you're going to get a somewhat full understanding of exactly what you need to do when it comes to launching your own dropshipping store. And if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before and you're thinking who's this guy on my screen and why should I listen to him? Well welcome my name is Sam and I was actually able to quit my full time job maybe five years ago now and that was all due to the fact that I started an e-commerce business and that same business enables me to travel the world to various different amazing locations while still being able to bring in a source of income from my e-commerce stores even when I'm on holiday so I'm sure I'm going to be able to point you in the right direction. Okay so jumping straight into one of the first steps that you need to be aware of if you are looking to start a dropshipping business which is finding a winning product. Now there's so many different methods out there when it comes to finding products that are currently selling well but one of the main ways that I like to use to find products that I know that I've got a higher chance of being successful with is to find products that number one people are actively searching for and number two people are actively spending money on right now. For me personally I don't like to go down the trending route I like to find proven products where millions of dollars are being spent on them right now this month last month and they're most likely going to be spending millions of dollars on these products in the foreseeable future and one of the best websites to find these type of products is on Amazon. So Amazon is the number one most visited e-commerce website in the entire world but the interesting thing is majority of the different products that are currently being bought and sold on Amazon are available for you to drop ship right now if you wanted to. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about but one of the tools that I use when it comes to doing Amazon product research is Helium 10. So I've just logged into my Helium 10 account and I'm going to show you the quick steps that I take when it comes to finding winning products that I like to build my dropshipping stores around. So once I've logged into my account just like this what I like to do is click on the black box section just like that and then come over here to advanced. Then what I like to do is select a category that I want to build my store around. So you're going to be able to choose from all of these different product categories that are currently available on Amazon but I'm going to select the baby products category for this example. For the price I like to make sure that it's minimum $15. For the monthly revenue for the product I like to make sure that it's ten thousand dollars i also like to make sure that the product isn't heavy because it's going to cost a lot when it comes to postage so i like to make sure that it's no more than three pounds and for now that's the main filters that i'm going to select so i'm going to click on search okay so as you can see helium tends to come back with all of these different products but one of the first things i like to do is sort the monthly revenue from highest to lowest Okay so all of these different products here this one was able to bring in over 4.6 million dollars just for this one product in the last 30 days. This one was able to bring in 2 million, 1 million so on and so forth. But as you can see there's this item over here that was able to bring in over 1.1 million dollars in the last 30 days and it's currently selling for 99 dollars. So if I just click into it just to give you a better look. Okay so I've never seen this item before. It seems like it's some sort of baby sleeping aid by the looks of it and it's also selling really well over 19,000 reviews on Amazon. So now that I've got a rough idea of a potential product that I might want to build my dropshipping store around I'm just going to double check Google Trends and see if people are searching for it. Yep as you can see on Google Trends I just typed in the keyword over here. Since 2013 we can see more and more people have gone onto Google to search for this particular product. So that's just a quick example of what I do when it comes to doing product research. Of course there's some other bits and pieces that I might want to do but that's the main thing that I do and if you wanted to sign up to Helium 10 for a discount I've got a trial link or a discounted link in my description down below. But now that I have the product that I want to move forward with when it comes to building my Shopify dropshipping store the next step after this that you guys need to be aware of is to go over to your supplier's website and see if that product is available on there. Now there's so many different supplies that you can use when it comes to testing out products for example you can use AliExpress but the one that I'm going to be using in today's video is CJ Dropshipping. So I've just jumped onto CJ Dropshipping and I'm going to type in the keyword for the product which is baby shusha just like that and then click on search. Okay so from this particular search we can see that the item isn't showing up 
But what I'm going to do is just type in a, another variation for the product, which is baby white noise, just like this, and then click on search again. All right, so with this keyword, we can see the product that we want to drop ship is available over here. There's this one and there's other types of models and there's also this one over here. So if I just click into it, yeah, so this is the product. So when it comes to looking for any item that you want to drop ship, you want to type in different keywords if you're not able to find it the first time. So now that I know that is available on CJ Dropshipping, this is the price over here and we can see that they've got a decent amount of inventory left in their warehouse. And I can also see that they've got tracking available and it's going to get to the customer within 8 to 15 days. This is the product that I'm going to be using when it comes to testing the sales and seeing if I'm going to be able to have any sort of success before I think about scaling this particular store. Okay, so at this point, we've got the product that we want to drop ship and we've also got a suitable supplier. But what I'm going to do now is see if there is an available domain that I'm going to be able to use when it comes to building my store, because this is definitely important. A lot of beginners don't think about this, but if you're not able to find a suitable domain for the product that you want to drop ship, then it's going to be difficult to move over to the next step when it comes to actually building and designing your website. And the website that I like to use when it comes to finding and buying all of my domains is GoDaddy. So I'm just going to search for, let's say baby shusha just like that and see if that's available okay so we can see that baby shusha.store is available now ideally i want to use .com because this is going to be good when it comes to seo so i'm going to search for that okay so we can see that baby shusha.com isn't available so i'm going to search for a different one which is baby sleep helper.com let's see if that's available okay so this one is available it's not expensive as well so if I wanted to buy it, all I need to do is just click on this and it's probably going to take about maybe one minute for me to complete the checkout. All right, so moving on to the next crucial step of this entire process, which is signing up to Shopify, which is the platform that you're going to use when it comes to building out your website. And why is it that I recommend Shopify? Well, the first reason is due to the fact that I've been using it with majority of the different dropshipping stores that I've built over the years. Second reason is that they've made it super easy to navigate for a complete beginner. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean in a moment. And third reason is that you're gonna be able to sign up for next to no money. Because if you click the link in my description, as you can see, all you need to do is pay $1 per month and you're gonna be able to get full access to Shopify for the next three months and build out your store without having to pay the regular price, which I believe is around $30, maybe around $40. So by using that link in my description, you're gonna be able to save a lot of money and get your dropshipping business started in the cheapest way possible. So once you've clicked that link in my description, all you need to do is just enter your email into this section over here and then click on start free trial. Okay, so I've just done that myself just now. And as you can see, this is the page that you're going to see once you've followed through with all of the steps. And there's a couple things that you need to be aware of once you're on this stage. And I'm gonna try and go through the most important things, but one of the first things that you may wanna do is go through this checklist that's on this main page over here. So it's gonna give you some idea of exactly some of the things that you need to do, e.g. adding your first product, which I'm gonna show you how you can do that in the best way a little bit later on in this crash course, but you're also gonna to have to customize your store, add your domain that you purchased from GoDaddy, you know, go through the store settings, name your store, set up Shopify payments, set up your shipping rates. Once you click into any one of these different things, Shopify is gonna take you directly to the setting section for you to do all of this. So let's say for example, if I wanted to name my store, all I need to do is just click on this option just like that. And then from here, I'm gonna be able to type in the name of my store, for example, baby sleep helper. I'm also gonna be able to add my store email address and just go through all of these different store details that I'm going to need to enter. Same thing goes with adding my custom domain. If I wanted to connect the one that I purchased from GoDaddy, I'm going to be able to select this option. But bear in mind that because this is a crash course, I'm not going to be able to walk you through every single little detail. Otherwise, this video might end up being an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes long. So I'm just trying to keep it brief. But these are the most important things that you're going to need to do once you first set up your store. But when it comes to designing your store, this is something that is also very important. So if I just click on online store over here, as you can see, they've got all of these different popular free themes that you can choose from. Now the default one that they add to your store is the Dawn one, which is this one. 
So they've already added it to the back end of my Shopify store. So what I'm going to do is just click on customize. And there's a few key things that I want to point out that you guys need to be aware of once you're on this stage. Now, when it comes to editing anything, as you can see, Shopify have made it super simple because all you simply need to do is just click on any one of these different sections just like this, and you're going to be able to make any changes over here. So for example, if I wanted to edit my logo, I'm going to be able to click on this section just like this and then come over to theme settings just like that. And I'm going to be able to add an image. And if I just quickly show you exactly how you can create a logo for fairly cheap, you're going to be able to do that by using Canva. So I've just logged into my Canva account. I'm going to click on create a design. Then I'm going to type in logo just like that and then click on this option. Once I'm over here, I'm going to be able to type in the keyword for the product. So I'm just going to type in baby just like this. And as you guys can see, there's all of these different logos that I'm going to be able to choose from. So of course, this product is about a baby sleeping product. So let's say if I click on this one and the name of the product is baby sleep helper, just like that I can get rid of that. And there we go. I was able to make a logo within 30 seconds. So I'm just going to save this, come back over to the Shopify store that I'm working on, click on select image, select it just like that. And as you can see, I was able to add the logo. And everything else is fairly straightforward. If I want to edit this placeholder image over here, I'm going to be able to do that fairly easily. And what I would recommend to you guys, this is actually a top tip that you can use. I'm just going to head back over to CJ Dropshipping. What you want to do is click on this button over here. And what this is going to do is that it's going to download all of these different images to your computer. Once you've downloaded all of the images, there's going to be a couple that you're going to be able to use when it comes to designing your website. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when it comes to editing this image over here, if I just come over to select image just like that as you can see i've already uploaded all of the images from cj dropshipping so what i'm going to do is just click on let's say this one this one looks perfect if i just click on done perfect as you can see the image was uploaded and it looks really really good in my opinion and when it comes to designing your store i would say that you should add a section down here if you are thinking about using the dawn theme and then put image with text just like that and then for the actual image you may want to use another image from cj dropshipping so i'm going to use let's say this one okay perfect so the website is coming along pretty nicely and when it comes to the text i'm just going to add some quick text over here that says the number one sleeping tool for babies of course i would add a lot more than that i would put maybe at least you know five different lines of text but i can't think of anything right now because this is a crash course but i'm sure that you get the point and you're going to be able to maybe do that for another section. So if I wanted to add, let's say another section, I'm going to be able to do that again, just like that. Select the image and maybe use this one over here this time. And I'm going to be able to insert text again. And just to give you an idea of exactly what the website looks like so far, I'm just going to click on this option over here, which is going to show you what it looks like in terms of desktop so this is what it's going to look like when someone is scrolling through and essentially you're going to be able to of course go through make any other changes that you want to another important thing that you're going to need to do during this stage is set up your policy pages and those are the pages that are going to go at the bottom over here so if i just click on the footer just like this and then scroll down on the left hand side over here as you can see it allows me to click on show policy links, but I haven't set it up yet. But once I click it just like this, all of these different pages are going to be here. But of course, there's no information in them yet. But when it comes to adding information into all of these different pages, all you need to do is just click on policy settings over here. And then it should take you to this page over here. And you should see all of these different sections, for example, refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service. And Shopify have made it super easy when it comes to filling out all of this information, because all you need to do is just click on this option that says create from template. And as you can see, all the information was inserted because Shopify is pulling all of the information that we gave them when we set up the account. So you don't have to fill out all of this information. Of course, you want to read through it to make sure that it's actually what you want it to be. But again, Shopify just makes it easy and you're going to be able to do the same thing with all of them. Privacy policy, if I just click on create from template again, as you can see, it was able to insert all of the information. So that's basically how that one works. But whatever the case is, once you've gone through 
everything that you want to do when it comes to designing your store and I know that I only showed you guys a little bit of what you need to know but if you did want to see me build a Shopify store step by step you're going to be able to go over to www.shopifyproject.com because over there I walk through every single little detail when it comes to building a Shopify store everything that I've had to learn over the years and the different obstacles that you want to avoid so make sure that you visit the website that's on the screen or you can click the first link that's in the description down below but swiftly moving on to one of the next important things that you need to know which is how exactly do you link a product from your supplier's website onto your Shopify store so that customers can buy it from you and you're going to be able to fulfill it from your supplier's website automatically well the tool that i like to use when it comes to doing this is auto ds and just to give you an idea of exactly how this works i've just logged into my auto ds account and one of the first things that you're going to need to do once you've signed up for an account is click on this option over here as you can see i've already added a couple of my ebay test stores and one of my shopify test stores but when it comes to connecting a new store, what you need to do is just click on this option. Then you need to click on Shopify store over here. And then it's gonna take you to this page where it's saying that you're gonna be able to get a 14 day free trial. But bear in mind, if you wanted to get a 30 day free trial where you can test it out and use it when it comes to building, starting, growing, scaling your Shopify dropshipping store, then use the 30 day trial link in my description because of course it's a lot better than 14 days. But in this case, and in this example, I'm just gonna click on install. And then it should take you to a similar page that looks like this. And then what you need to do is just click on install app. Okay, perfect. So my AutoDS account is now connected to my Shopify store. But when it comes to actually syncing a product from my supplier's website, the way that that works is that you need to come over here to where it says add products. In this case, we're just going to be adding a single product. Select the store that you're working from, which in this case is this one, then click on next. And then from here, you're going to need to enter the URL for the product from your supplier's website. So I'm just going to head back over to CJ Dropshipping, copy it just like that. Come back over to AutoDS, paste it in there just like that, and then click on edit now from here i'm going to be able to make any necessary changes that i need to for example the title the description because the way auto ds works is that they're pulling the description directly from the supplier's website so of course i'm going to want to make changes to this and put some of the most important information that the customer needs to know but because this is a crash course i don't want to spend too much time on it you're just going to need to make sure that you insert information about the product the return information payment information all of that and then click on variants and take a look at that in this case there's only one images you also want to take a look at this and remove any images that you don't want to keep any images that you want and then click on save and import okay great so as you can see the product has now been loaded onto our Shopify store. So let me go and look. Yep, and right there, as you can see, one product has been loaded onto my Shopify store. And if I just click into it, as you can see, this is what the back end looks like. Again, I'm gonna be able to make any changes over here and I'm gonna be able to make any changes directly on AutoDS as well. But if I just click on preview, okay, perfect. So as you can see, this is the product over here. It looks like it's been loaded successfully. This is what the customer is going to see. They're going to be able to add it to their cart just like that. If I just click on home over here, I just want to give you an idea of what the home page looks like. So this is where we was able to get so far. I'm still going to have to update the text and all of that. But within this video, you've seen me build a store from scratch. You saw me find the product using Helium 10 that was currently selling well on Amazon. You was also able to see me build out the store and connect it using AutoDS from my supplier's website. But I'm sure right now, most of you are probably scratching your head thinking, Sam, everything you've shown us so far is great. I know exactly what I need to do when it comes to building my store and making it look really good. But how exactly am I gonna get customers onto my website? Now, there's so many different ways that you can do it. You can use things like TikTok ads, which is a great option depending on what product you're selling. But one of the main ways that I like to get traffic onto my website is by using Google ads, specifically Google shopping ads. Now, let me show you exactly how they work from a customer's perspective. So I'm just going to type in the product right there, baby shusha, and then click on Google search. And as you guys can see, there's all of these different stores that are currently using Google shopping ads to drive traffic to their website. And a lot of them are selling similar products. And this is what I like to use when it comes to 
getting traffic onto my website because someone would have had to have gone onto Google and typed in a specific keyword for an item that they want to buy, which means that that potential customer most likely has their credit card in their hand, which means that if I build my store in the best possible way and make sure that it's branded around the product that I'm drop shipping, there's a high chance that I'm going to be able to get conversions. Now, if you want to know step by step exactly what you need to do when it comes to setting up your first Google shopping ad and a lot of the things that you need to do when it comes to optimizing your store so that you can even get accepted to use Google shopping ads, I'm going to leave a video right there. Click that video, watch that straight after this because it's going to show you everything you need to do step by step so that you can use the most visited website in the entire world, which is Google. And if you did manage to stick around for this entire video up until this point, well done, because what I'm going to be doing is entering you into a giveaway where you're going to have the potential chance to win free access to Project Shopify which again is my step-by-step -step guide that's going to show you everything you need to know when it comes to building your Shopify dropshipping store as a complete beginner. So if you want to enter the giveaway, all you got to do is like the video first and foremost. Then secondly, you got to make sure that you're subscribed. Thirdly, you got to make sure that you comment down below dropshipping success. And lastly, you got to make sure that you're following me on my Instagram, which can be found at success.with.sam because what I'm going to be doing is announcing the winner to the giveaway over there on my stories. So make sure you keep an eye out on my stories so that you can see if you're the winner of the giveaway. But whatever the case is, whether you win the giveaway or you don't win the giveaway, I'm wishing you luck on your dropshipping journey. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.